morning students today we will start new chapter chapter 6 perimeter and area so first i will discuss about perimeter perimeter means length of a boundary of a closed figure or shape boundary you can remember that boundary like where your home area or we can say the field okay or park okay and where you it means uh, your house is located they all are having their boundaries yes it is clear now if we will measure its all sides okay from we will start from the one point and we will cover all the corners and we will come it again at the same point then it is called perimeter of that shape okay in short we will say sum of the length of all its sides sum of the length of all its side example let us see if a shape is in a form of triangle okay and it's having the length suppose this side is having measure of a b c and if i have to find perimeter perimeter of triangle of this closed shape then i have to add all the sides a plus b plus c okay means if suppose someone ask that if you are having a uh, small uh, garden at at your house then we if i will say find its perimeter or we can say find the perimeter of the table top okay of your dining table that means if it is having a straight line then we have to just start from one point and we have to measure its all side and after measuring if we will add them then it is called perimeter of that closed shape clear now perimeter mean the perimeter of the different type of shapes the shapes if you will consider the shapes can be regular also or irregular also means if we talk about any regular shape regular shapes regular regular shapes in this the shapes which are having its all sides and all angles are equal means shapes having all sides all equal sides and equal angles they are all regular shapes okay in this we are having uh square equilateral triangle and the figures we can say the square and equilateral triangle after that we are having the shapes which are having five sides six sides seven sides so on so if they are having word regular regular pentagon pentagon okay if the shapes which are having five side we are saying that shape as pentagon but in the word regular it means that its all five sides are equal okay so regular shapes means those shapes having equal sides and equal angles okay like example square equilateral triangle regular pentagon regular hexagon so on and some are irregular irregular shapes irregular shapes means the shapes having shapes having unequal unequal sides okay the shapes having unequal sides they are called irregular shapes clear example we can say um, quadrilateral quadrilateral okay or we can 
to remember perimeter of the irregular shapes clear now with the help of these two type of methods we can generate the formulas which you are using to simplify the particular given question if it is asked in your book or in your worksheet clear by the help of these two okay so today i will tell you three particular formulas by the help of these we can generate are number first the first one perimeter of this is the first one perimeter of rectangle perimeter of rectangle now let us see rectangle you know in the property of rectangle opposite sides are equal this is the length short side is given as breadth but in the property we know in rectangle opposite sides are equal length will be equal to length breadth will be equal to breadth now if we have to find perimeter we know very general way if we have to find perimeter of any shape okay we have to add its all sides okay so very simple length plus breadth plus length plus breadth now writing the length length together length plus length breadth plus breadth there are two lengths plus two breadth now this two is common we can take it outside and in bracket we have to write the remaining length plus breadth bracket closed and you can see bracket and two is having a gap this is filled by multiply always remember so the perimeter of rectangle two multiply length plus breadth this is the formula which we have to use in the question whenever it is asked find the perimeter of rectangle if the length and breadth are no is that clear so perimeter of rectangle you can generate the formula with your own by using the by using or by remembering the definition of perimeter of finding regular shapes and perimeter of finding irregular shapes clear second one second one perimeter of square perimeter of square before also we have discussed but let us see again in square we all know its all sides are of equal length we can say side by s small and for right okay and we have to find perimeter we have to add its all sides Simple. Then four s or four multiplied side. So perimeter of square four into side. Is that clear? Now the same thing I have discussed before. Perimeter of the regular shape number of side multiplied length of any one side. Is that clear? Third one. Third one. perimeter of triangle make it clear in your mind i have said perimeter of triangle here i have not mentioned that which type of triangle okay but in general if it is says find the perimeter of triangle whose three sides are okay so we have to just use the common idea by adding all the three sides suppose the length of this side is a length of this side b length of this side c okay so perimeter of the triangle sum of its all side a plus b plus c is it is that clear so today you will discuss this topic which i have tell you in this video for finding perimeter of regular and irregular shape what is the meaning of perimeter okay and the three particular formula perimeter of rectangle how you can generate perimeter of square how you can generate perimeter of triangle 
Is that clear? So today you have to revise this. Thank you.